Shalom and good day all, this is Tiki on 29 back again for another review for Rainbow Fresen Comics and I am so happy to review this because my day started off a little bit on the low side but it did actually pick up towards the end so um, so time to get to doing this review and the first things first is the covers. Do these covers in any way, shape or form connect to something that's happening inside of the story? Sure enough they do. And as you can see here, we've got a bit of a picture of Prometheus there. Um, who do, does somewhat turn up in this. And, of course, the favourite super son who's on the scene. Woohoo! Damien Wayne. And moving into the other cover, uh, in this variant, uh, we've got Batman and plenty of bloody ninja. And I think it is incredible. Well, for the cover on the left hand side, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. And for the second cover, I gave an 8.5 out of 10. Now it's time to do a review on the internal art as well as um, looking in, um, at the story story wise before we move into the actual story rating and I'll get things prepared so we can start to see some art around the beginning middle and of course the end as this story begins and this is some of the art around the beginning I must admit um, <sighs> I wish this art was better, and, and I really wish they sort of used um, maybe Gleb Malnikov to cover the art for all of the stories connected to this, because I think it would deliver the story way better. And as we begin the story we have Batman along with Damian Wayne at the Black Gate and of course there's a bit of a discussion in regards to people sort of like pretending to be um, again Deathstroke and there was a bit of a connection to the Royal Flush Gang and it's really nice to see a comic um, reference here and of course there's a bit of a the discussion and of course <laughs> Damien intervenes and uh, gets one of these villains to talk I'll now jump towards the middle of the story as we draw closer to this story or to the middle of the story we notice that Batman is now on his way to Central City and uh, making his way to find one of Deathstroke's bases and there's a bit of a dis discussion that comes up between Damien and Bruce on the issue of Respawn. And I actually quite like this small conversation. Because with the last part of the issue, I love how Damien is so accepting of Respawn as practically his brother. Even though he's part clone of him. And also part clone of um, Deathstroke. He still accepts him as a brother. And of course we move into a location. And this is something else I also like too. When we get to one of the locations. And Damien reveals. Hey, even the people you see as bad guys. Enjoy secret passages too. <laughs> Very observant. As we move towards the end of the story, we catch up with Respawn, along with Ravager, and last but not least, Deathstroke, as they're encountering ninjas with guns. Not just swords, but also guns. <laughs> I admit, parts of this art is really nice, whilst other parts do come off a little bit off-centre. 
So jumping into the art rating, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Jumping into the story rating, well, I, as you know, I rate my stories in a category, oh, in four particular areas. First is, were there any comic book references to indicate um, when this might be taking place or what it could be taking place after? And we get Justice League issue 68 and also the Batman Annual issue 1 of 2022. The next theory is time because time is important to know when things are happening throughout the day or the night in regards to a story. Sure, it is nice to see how it's done um, in art form, but sometimes it's also good for the creator or the writer to bring this across as well, such as um, what time did they eventually get to Central City? after they had left Blackgate Penitentiary. No bloody idea. Was it a one hour trip? Was it a two hour trip? I got no idea. Um, that was not pointed out, though it would not hurt to be included in the story so the reader knows how long the trip took for these characters to get from one place to another. Moving to the next area which I really like to cover, and that is locations. Of course, we had the Blackgate Penitentiary, or the prison. Uh, we also had the Century. We also had... What is it? I think it's called the home of something at Gotham City. And we also had... But um, there was something happening at Gotham City. Oh, no, no. It's the haunt at Gotham City. My correction. And last but not least, we had the area of Washington, D.C. The cast of characters consisting of Bruce Wayne, Batman and Damian Wayne Robin. We had Ghostmaker and Clown Hunter, plus many other extras which I didn't know and was unable to put down. But I was able to get down the names of the ones I could manage to get across. Um, we, of course, had Slade Wilson, Deathstroke, Ravager, Respawn. And last but not least, we also had Hood. And one other character, which, again, I have written really badly. So for this overall story rating, I gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.